Anyway, folks, welcome back to the Dash of a Line. Got another video for you today. Where today we're going to talk about DBX basing. What is it? What does it look like on the tabletop? Now, this mainly pertains to ancients and medieval war gamers and collectors. Uh, it's discussing a system of basing, a style of basing, which is made popular through the DBA and DBM, DBMM sets of rules by Phil Barker. Uh, it has since been adopted as pretty much a standard among most ancients and medieval wargamers. Uh, I'm going to show you what that basing system looks like, whether or not it's right for you, and whether or not you're going to have to change up your basing if you go and use a different set of rules. So let's take a look at it now. The DBX style of basing comes about primarily from the DBX line of rules, DBA and DBMM in this case, all by Phil Barker. Uh, originally conceived back in the old Wargamer search group days, 7th uh, edition and previous editions, uh, similar basing was used. But it comes about from the DBX line of rules. And as you can see, it does look the part. In this case, we got some pikemen and cataphracts, elephants, uh, this basing system is, in fact, used widely by a lot of different sets of rules, like Lartu La Guerre, uh, Vows of Iron, and so on. There's lots of different rules that use this, and that's one of the advantages of this basing system, is that you can actually use and play with these figures with other sets of rules. You don't have to rebase, and that's always a plus. So that's an advantage. Uh, one of the other things that's pretty predominant with the basing system, uh, besides that it's versatile, it can be used with different rules, such as here, but it just plain looks good. Uh, I've been basing my figures this way for a long time and put on some good terrain, and boy, it really looks great. In this case, we got some Romans marching forward, meeting some Seleucids up ahead and it does look the part and the troop types are differentiated by the number of models on each base now some of the things you want to keep in mind with dbx is that the frontages are always the same as you can see on this page here based on your figure scale you're using 28 mil 15 mil 2 mil the frontage is fixed in my case i'd use 15 mil that's that center column everything's 40 millimeters wide that's the base frontage for all your troop types okay and the number of figures and the depth of the bases is really what distinguishes your troop types as you can see down a little bit in the page here you could see the number of figures on a base distinguishes them uh, for instance light horse at the top there is typically two figures on a base knights would be three figures on a base uh, pike arm troops would be three to four figures per base or uh, auxulia and all that uh, knights would be three figures per base and hordes uh, are a little bit different they they're actually the only troop type that's based uh two figure ranks and it's a hodgepodge of figures a little mix they are in fact a horde so they're going to look uh, they should look appropriate uh, in this case about four to six figures or five to eight with 15 millimeter scale so you look up at the top here the middle middle uh, section you'll see you cross-reference your figure scale you're using like 28 25 15 and so on uh, with the troop type and that tells you how many figures to put on the base and it helps the players distinguish what bases are what kinds of troops uh, that and the depth of the bases. Those are the main distinguishing factors used in DBX basing. And again, the depth of the base helps distinguish the troop type. And let's take a look at some of these base type depths that are used in DBX. Now, there is only five such bases and we'll take a look at them right here we've got 15 millimeter deep 20 millimeter deep 30 millimeter deep 40 millimeter deep it's actually a square base in 15 mil and 80 millimeter deep quite a rare base type but it is used for things like boats and other unusual pieces war wagons which we will see so let's take a look at some of these bases in action what they look like with the troop types and we'll start off with the 15 mil. Here you got four figures per base. These are everything from spears to pikes to blades, uh, war bands. On the far right, we got some Gaul war bands. We've got Roman uh, blades to the far left. We got feudal English blades in, in the middle, along with some pikemen, spearmen there on the right center. Uh, these are all mounted four figures per base on a 15 millimeter deep base. Now here's another popular, uh, common I should say, in DBX basing. It's 20 millimeter depth. 
These are three figures per base, typically. And they're basically your medium infantry and troops of that type. We do have some warband here on the far left that can be based that way. Uh, we've got some spears uh, and so basically your medium infantry, longbows on the right. And here's another option of troop types mounted on 20 millimeter depth, and that is the light troops, what uh, DBX calls Soloi. These are your skirmish troops, and they're typically, almost always, two figures on a base. And they're really easy to spot on the battlefield because, well, there's two figures on the base. And this is some of those troops right here, Velites, Gall Slingers, and so on. All the light troops. Now, the next base size is 30 millimeter depth. That is common amongst cavalry and mounted troops, camel mounted troops and such. In the case we hear, we got some knights in the middle, Roman cavalry on the left, Seleucid cavalry on the right. Uh, these are commonly mounted three figures per base. They're your typical cavalry base, but a lot like the infantry with their light troops, they also can mount light cavalry on the same base, but the number of figures is different, very much like the infantry where there's two figures per base. Cavalry do likewise. Hey, you got some Numidian light cavalry on the far right. Uh, these are your light cavalry, and it's all in a 30 millimeter deep base. Same base depth as normal cavalry and knights, as we just saw before. Your next base size is still 30 millimeters, but this is another option used with troop types. In this case, cataphracts on the left, they're, they're based four cavalry on one base. They're very easy to spot on the table because there's four of them. Uh, and then we got a horde base on the right. This is the only infantry to be mounted on a cavalry base, a 30 millimeter deep base. And this is what they look like in 15 mil. Now we've got the square base, which is 40 mil by 40 mil for 15 millimeter figures. And that's a lot of things like chariots and elephants, uh, war, uh, artillery types, and that kind of uh, troop type would be found on this type of base. And again, you can see my elephants and chariots here. And basically, it's the number of models in the base to distinguish it, but it is 40 millimeters square. Now here is our unusual base. You don't see too many of these. War wagons, in this case, a cog are based on an 80 millimeter deep base. Again, the frontage is 40 millimeters, 15 millimeter scale figures. And here's some examples of that. So it's an unusual base size, but it works. And I love seeing it on the table. They're easy to spot. And there you go, folks. That is DBX basing in a nutshell, how it works. Five different base types, troops distinguished uh, by the number of figures on the base and the depth of the bases. And as you can see here, the Gauls are deployed for battle. You can see those, those troops look fantastic. And some Romans as well, uh, the different types. They're easy to distinguish on the tabletop. The system is very versatile, folks. So there you go. That's DBX basing. So there you go, folks. That's my video on DBX basing. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there is one other type of basing I failed to mention in the video, and it's called the double based element or unit. And basically, it's two ranks of figures uh, on a single base. And this is referred to as a double based element. And it's used to represent in DBX uh, various troops that were equipped differently, but in the same body of men, such as, say, a front rank of Pavis-equipped troops. And in the second rear ranks, you'd find your missile-armed troops, such as longbows and crossbows. Uh, those are referred to as double-based elements. And I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. It does exist in DBX. But otherwise, folks, if you have any questions about DBX basing, any questions on basing in general, uh, leave me some comments. Ask away. I'm here to help. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, folks, hang in there. It's only going to get better. Take care.